I believe we are all destined to live lives of purpose, but more than that, to find meaning in our lives, to find meaning in our, in our mere existence. And really what that means is that means just having this feeling of, that was cool, that was awesome. This feeling of, I did something and I liked it. That's purpose, that's all purpose is. So, so really what I want to do is I want to bring you a completely different perspective on this overarching concept of purpose. And I want to show you how you can start creating purpose minute by minute and day by day with a complete about turn concept. But first let's start by looking at this word purpose. You know sometimes I think many people look at purpose as this overarching huge lightning bolt moment in terms of have you discovered your purpose for your life and I think that can be quite intimidating but I also think more than that our purpose changes as we grow and as we mature and that's as it was meant to be so let's bring purpose right down to its baseline meaning and and into our day-to-day -day existence now purpose means reason Effectively, why are you doing what you're doing? Now, I know many people go to work and say, well, I'm doing it for the paycheck, right? Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work I go. And I'm telling you, it shouldn't be like that. You should be able to still create the sense of meaning within yourself. And in so doing, you will open up a broader sense of purpose in your life. So purpose is really your reason for doing something. We all have to do things in life that perhaps don't blow our hair back. But what if you planned to find the joy? <laughs> now I've been doing this for a couple of weeks. This is a new program that I'm tinkering with before I put it out to the market. And I've actually been pursuing and planning joy in my life every single day. And let me tell you, it has increased my sense of meaning tenfold. So what I want you to do, and this is my challenge to you, is find, or, or when you sit and you plan your week or you plan your day, I want you to look at your schedule and ask yourself, where can I find the joy? And put little J's next to it, or put a little asterisk next to it, or whatever it might be, so that when you go into that meeting, you know you are looking for the joy in that meeting. You are looking for a sense of enjoyment. You are looking to step into the fullness of who you are. And in so doing, don't you think you're going to create a sense of meaning? And as you create the sense of meaning, don't you think your life is going to become more purpose-driven? It is as simple as making time to find the joy. So my question to you is, how are you going to schedule the next week that's coming where you can actually look for moments to find the joy? And here's what I want to say to you about joy. Joy is something completely different to happiness. Happiness is an external thing that is based on external circumstances, right? So uh, you give me a big hug, I'm going to feel really happy for the moment. But joy is a decision. It is an internal thing. So again, look at your work week and ask yourself, what are the things that I enjoy doing and where can I amplify that sense of joy? We've all worked in crappy jobs, and I get that. You might be in a crappy job, right? But there are still things within that job that you enjoy. Otherwise, you wouldn't have taken the job in the first place. So go consciously and start finding the joy. Life is about what we focus on, and we focus far too much on the negative. And I truly believe that your life will change exponentially if you can start this little habit of finding the joy because you're looking at things differently. As a result, you're going to have a greater sense of meaning and as a result, guess what? You are living a purpose-driven life as you were destined to.